What is up, guys? Great and Pride here coming at you. Let's do... Hmm, this is... Really, none of these are really my style. I'll do the Quick Supply Specialist, just because I like kind of starting with Sledgehammers now. Let's see what my opponent goes for. Stormcallers and Crawlers. That's annoying. And I win. Yay me. Yeah, that's how scary I am. No big deal or anything. Oh, I got MMR for that? Nice. Well, now we can just sit here and talk a little bit. Interesting that weekend news. Borderlands movie is on track to be the biggest box office bomb in history. So that's good. That trailer was really, really bad, dude. Like, nothing about that trailer was funny or Borderlands-y at all. I don't know why they made all the characters, like, 60 either. The characters are all, you know, obviously supposed to be, like, late 20s, early 30s, max. They're, they're like, young adventurers looking for, like, a new life, dude. They're not, like, 60. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, dude. Those are much better cards. I could have taken any of those cards and been happy, probably. I'll probably watch the Borderlands movie when it comes to streaming, just to make fun of it. But... Let's move everything back a little bit. I might do... I might... <clears throat> Jesus, I'm dying, dude. I might start playing League of Legends again. Which, please, somebody tell me not to do that. Somebody... Who wants to be, like, my AA sponsor? And be like, when I'm about to boot up League of Legends, you, like, call me and just berate me and stop me. But I just... I They did... A couple months ago, they did, like, a mid-season patch, and I really like it. Because... Two of my favorite champions, Malzahar and Dr. Mundo, are like strong right now out of nowhere. And I'm like really tempted to get back in there. Apparently Mundo can go like Warmog's first item now or something and just decimate people. And Malzahar, they added two uh, AP items. One that increases dot damage, which is huge for him. And one that increases ult damage and decreases the ult time, which is also huge for him. He could go either way, really. Also, that uh, the item that decreases your ult time is good for Karthus, and I like playing Karthus too because I'm a bad person and I'm lazy. I don't like leaving mid. I just like ulting. Elite fangs. That would be interesting. How much are elite fangs? Like 200 probably? Nah, that's probably not worth it. I'm just gonna get more tarantulas. I'll do an anti-missile flank over here. My opponent did go with the elite fangs, which means my tarantulas are just gonna eat them up. I'm probably going to go, like, range tarantulas now. If he's going to go that hard into fangs, let's just tear him up. I haven't really played Mecha Bell in a few days. This is, oh, 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 baby, dude. I'm gonna take that one, I think. Fourteen thousand, eleven thousand. I'll give it to the fourteen thousand. I've actually been playing KOTOR 2, Knights of the Old Republic 2. Easily, probably, easily top five games ever made. Easily, dude. That game, still to this day, just holds up absolutely perfectly. It's a gem, dude. It's a little janky here and there, but I like the jank. It gives a character. 
Oh, he's going... Oh, he's borrowing money this early. And he's going like Assault Fangs. I mean... That doesn't seem that good. KOTOR, absolute gem. I'm doing a, a light side weapon master build, so I'm going all in on like strength and lightsaber damage. I love how just perfectly in balance that game is. It's like, oh yeah, there's no good light side powers. Oh, you want to be like a, a light side like a force user? You get nothing. You get to stun the guy, and you get to push the guy over, and that's it. And pushing the guy over is neutral. You really just get to stun a guy, that's it. But they have, a, they have a lot of good buffs if you want to go like melee builds. Huh. I guess I'll just go to steel balls because they're free, I guess. Put them back here as like anti-flankers in case he wants to flank me with like a rhino or something. There's really nothing I need to be doing here. I'm kind of just completely stomping him. I guess I could give these guys range, but they're not. I mean, sure. And I'll give like the attack buff since our units aren't really dying. So he's going to start selling stuff. So he realizes his army is dog water. Ugh, storm callers. That's annoying. You made the right choice. Storm callers are OP against everything. Well, if you're going to go Stormcallers, then I might go Spider Mines. Or actually, I'm just noticing now that he has no anti air. I guess the Fangs are anti air. Should have gone the Mustangs. Then I could at least get the anti missile tech. We'll see how hard he goes into the missiles. Those fangs on the outside are actually doing pretty good against my steel balls because they're level 3 and they have increased range. So what puts the nail in the coffin here? I think some race did, dude. Self healing race. Oh, I forgot to tell him good luck, have fun, whatever. I mean what can what can he do against self healing race? Nothing really, right? He got more storm collars? Exactly. What are these what are these little fangs gonna do against self-healing race? They're gonna do nothing. Damn, maybe I should have put them on the outside so these steel balls don't die so fast. I'm gonna speed this one up. I think this one's gonna take a while. Because the race can't die, but they also don't do a ton of damage. Hey, blew up both towers. That's huge for the Wraith XP. Since it looks like this is gonna go another round. I think I just go harder in the Wraiths. Ooh, 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 melting points. That sucks. I obviously have to go Overlords. I'm gonna go Ground Cannon on the Overlords, I think. 
and then defense. Something like this. I would go... Oh. I was going to say I would do the field maintenance on the overlords, but I assumed he would get melting points for my wraiths. He got phoenixes for my wraiths? But they heal, though. Will the phoenixes be able to do enough damage with them healing? It doesn't look like it. Huh, I guess this one is. So the level 1 Wraith is going to die. It doesn't look like the level 2 Wraith is going to die. It for sure looks like... Oh, damn, they got that Wraith. Yeah. GG. Let's speed this up. This is a W. Oh, he left. And just speed it up, dude. It's like another 10 seconds. I mean, I know. I understand getting salty. Like, that was a bad round for that guy. That guy didn't, that guy didn't win nothing. But, I mean, you can survive. Oh, rematch of the century. We're going to trade MMRs, dude. I'm going to get up into 1100 because of him, and I'm going to drag him down into the thousands. Quick supply, marksman again. Supply, supply. Speed. Do I want quick supply or supply supply? I'll do supply supply. Okay, he's doing basically the same thing. What do I do here? I think I do another <clears throat> another arc light in case he goes harder into the crawlers. And then... Do I match him chaff for chaff? No, I hate crawlers. Absolutely hate crawlers with a passion. They are not a unit that I enjoy using. Because I'm very bad at them. And I don't like doing things that I'm bad at. Looks like our steel balls are lined up pretty good. My arc lights are going to absolutely decimate his crawlers. I hope he goes harder into the crawlers. And then I can do elite marksman. Nope, he's doing snipers. That's very smart. Extremely smart on his part. He's learning. What is he, by the way? Oh, he's elite specialist. Well, if he's elite specialist... Maybe I should have gone crawlers and just gummed up the ground as much as possible. Because he won't be able to buy that many units. Arc lights getting stuck on the steel balls. You love to see it. Here goes my tower. I'm looking for the a free card. I guess it doesn't matter because I have the extra hundred. I'm gonna get the storm callers, and then oh, that would have been bad. <clears throat> I almost unlocked Mustangs. So I'm playing a little too quick. Good old wasp flank because I'm a bad person. He also wants storm collars. We know from last game that he likes storm collars. He also went more marksmen, which means the the wasps are gonna be pretty good. The question is, do I go harder on the wasps? Or do I just give up on them and go Get some fangs or something. We have to destroy that marksman before our tower goes down? Nice. Oh, you want to speed it up now, dude? Why didn't you just surrender? That'd get you out of the game quicker. <laughs> no, don't let them get the tower. No, the XP. The XP-ness. 
All right, wasp flank always works. I didn't use it last round, so he didn't under he didn't know that I was a wasp flanker. Um, I don't want any of this. So I'm gonna put these down the middle. So hopefully they kill those storm callers pretty quickly. How do I just go harder into the wasps? Wasps are like so easy to counter though. I guess we'll go a little harder into the wasps. And we'll see what he does. Okay, so all he did was some fangs. Okay, level 2 fangs. So he didn't get mustangs. So going a little harder on the wasps was a good thing. Hopefully they eat up these storm callers. This set of wasps is getting stuck on the uh, steel balls. That sucks. Come on, kill the snipers, dude. There we go. So those... Um, those level 2 fangs actually killed almost all my wasps. That's impressive. I'm going to win this one, though, because of the arc lights. Wow, even with the debuff, they kill fangs that quickly? I didn't know arc lights were like a fang. Other way around, damn. I'm all messed up. I didn't know that fangs were like a wasp counter. Tech specialist? When I have zero tech. I'm gonna go... Mass recruitment here. Come up this ground a bit. What's doing the damage? These arc lights are doing pretty decent damage. Do I give them elite marksmen? Or do I just give them regular range? I think I'm just going to give them regular range. And then I'll give the defense buff. And then I'm probably going to go harder into storm callers. Alright, so now he, he has teched into mustangs now. So there's no reason to go harder into the wasps. The mustangs just hard counter the wasps and it's game over. That is a reason to go harder into arc lights though. Yeah, look at these arc lights decimating these. Okay, never mind. Look at these arc lights getting decimated by the storm callers. He keeps borrowing money. I'm surprised he's at like 1100 MMR. Because I think borrowing money this early is kind of like a, a mistake. Not like I'm good or anything, but... I mean, I do it sometimes, but he does it like religiously. He borrows money like every round in both games. So I don't know what that's about. Damn, he really got me on that? Yes. Give me extra shields. I gotta get these. Damn, I might borrow money now. Just to level all this shit up. Dude, maybe I shouldn't have bought these storm callers. Maybe I should have just leveled everything up. I mean, if it's ah, uh, if it's working, level stuff up, and it actually wasn't really working because I did lose that round. So maybe the more storm callers are a good call. What is he buying? I can't even tell what he's buying. I think he's buying not more mustangs. I guess he's buying more storm callers too. If he's gonna buy more storm callers, though, I should go harder into wasps because he hasn't. Oh, he has anti-range. He doesn't have anti-air, though. 
Maybe I give the uh, the wasp shields as well since I have shield specialist. Is 40% that big of a deal though when a wasp has like 100 health? I do think I should give my arc lights elite specialist at some point though because they are doing the business right now. My left side. I might upgrade my left side tower. It keeps dying. Sniper's down, that tower's down. Stormcaller fight. He's gonna win because he has fangs and I don't. Okay, now I'm just gonna use this round to level everything up. Oh. Let me level everything up first and then I'll think about this. Feeling too much pressure. Ah, oh, I forgot that steel ball. So I'm gonna get Sabretooth. I'm gonna give them the anti missile tech since he's going very hard into the storm collars. He hasn't teched him yet, but I think he will eventually. This steel ball, these steel balls aren't really doing anything. They're kind of just sniper flack. Now, if he wants to be a dick, I actually don't have that much anti-air either. I guess I have the wasps, but they're dying pretty quickly to the Mustangs. I gotta give them do I give them the shields because I have energy shield specialist, or do I just give them anti-ground? Oh, that's a cool skin. Nerd. I don't know. Did he just buy more crawlers? He did just buy more crawlers. That means my uh, arc lights are definitely going to get elite marksmen here soon. Damn, he got fire missiles. For sure getting anti-missile tech now. For sure getting anti-missile tech right now. I would love to get like a healing thing on this saber tooth too. Damn, he's really giving me the business with these storm callers, dude. I gotta get anti-missile tech next round or I think it's over. Yep, this is the first round where he gave me a pretty decent hit on the chin. I'm gonna give him a little wave. Oh, never mind. It didn't proc. Oh! 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 It's really sad. I don't think I have the money for range specialist. Because I have to do missile interceptor. And I have to level some stuff up. to give these arc lights increased range. Something like this maybe. So the Mustangs are only in the middle, so maybe I put my... Maybe I move my Wasps to the outside. Since Mustangs are only in the middle, maybe that'll keep them alive longer. I just feel like this is a dumb spot for this. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Oh wow, he's going Phoenixes now? Damn. Maybe I do go harder to the Wasps. But then it's just so easy for him to go harder to the Mustangs. 
these arc lights giving the crawlers the business, dude. That's what we call. That's what we call in the content creation business the business, dude. Yeah, that anti-missile tech absolutely changed the game. Except I don't think I have anything left that can hit that Phoenix. Damn, that sucks, dude. They're about to get tons of XP. Oh, they're both leveling up. Yep, yep. Oh, that sucks. Looks like I'm going anti-air snipers. Who's close to leveling up? You're not at all. Oh, you're almost leveled up. I'll give it to you. Where are them? They're there, they're there. So he's got a pretty even spread. Give them aerial specialist. Probably give them range too, right? Eh, aerial specialist gives them range. But no, I should give them range. Because they kind of have to work or I'm screwed. What can 300 gold get me? Nothing really. I can get some armor on these steel balls and be more of like a nuisance. Oh, I can do something with the storm collars. I usually like to get electromagnetic, but he doesn't really have any tech. I don't want to get high explosive because then the steel balls might get in too much. I might, I might just give them range and just keep that last fifty. Is that a smoke screen? Wow, dude, those... Do I need to get more arc lights? Or no, I definitely need to get more Sabertooth before anything. I need to stop these missiles coming down. Wow, I just got decimated, dude. Those shields really gave it to me. And why weren't my snipers killing the phoenixes? I don't know what... I guess they were dying to the fire? Range, incinerary bomb. I want to do range. Give it to this guy. Steel balls. Saber tooths. We just really need him everywhere, dude. He has so many missiles. We just need him everywhere. Then do we do defensive or do we do offensive? I think we do defensive, right? Because we have the storm callers doing the damage. Oh. So I definitely need some shields. We saw that our opponent likes to do missiles. So maybe something like this. Oh, what the hell? He has his storm collars up front. What did he just give elite marksman to? See him. <laughs> that was terrible placement. Why do you have the storm collars out front? What did he give elite marksman to? Oh, the phoenixes? Damn, that sucks. This field maintenance is going to make this level 5 Sabertooth basically unkillable. It's going to make all the Sabertooths basically unkillable. Which is good. That's what I want. There we go. 
That's what should be happening. This is how the game should be going. And I keep all my shields, so that's huge. That's 300 gold I get to save. Um, free typhoons, that's annoying. Excuse me, that was rude. Um, I mean, it's gotta be the overlords, right? There's really no other option. Have to level up these saber tooths. Have to level up these arc lights. Remember, their anti-missile capabilities are based off their attack damage. So the higher their attack damage, the more missiles they can block. So you gotta level them up, gotta level these. Um. So, oh, I could go field maintenance here. Re really cheap. And then give the attack buff. I think that looks good. He went melting points. Yeah, that's very good against my... Damn, and I gave them health instead of the uh, artillery cannon. So they're not going to do anything against these melting points. That's huge, dude. Oh, does this heal back to full? Ah, uh, kind of doesn't, though. Okay, so now I, I need to go harder in the storm collars. it looks like. If he's going to go melting points. I think I need more marksmen. I think more marksmen and more storm callers. Wasp swarm. I'm gonna spook him with that magnetic impact. I don't think he'll be expecting that because I haven't really done any missiles yet. So I need, I think, one more marksman is good, and then two more storm callers. Try to get the. So it looks like that left side. Or it, I don't know, it kind of looks like the right side. Might need the help. Gonna line this up here. Gonna give these guys electromagnetic missiles to slow down the melting points. I have 600. I'm gonna give these guys shields. Then I'm gonna buy another shield for myself. Probably just like attach it right here maybe. Or no, I wanna get the, the big one. If I'm gonna do that, let's just borrow money. And let's just shield up. We'll keep this hundred. And we'll do the electromagnetic right right here, maybe. I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Oh, okay, that one missile. There goes <laughs> there goes two of your most powerful units right off the bat. And then now these melting points do not get any any tech. So missiles are getting in on the left side. That's annoying. By level five, oh, I might have to get more arc lights. Or no, not more arc lights, more fangs, because that level five saber tooth is dying way too quick. Even though he has increased health and double healing, or I guess single healing. The other one has double healing. Yeah, so that's a decimation. Oh, and my wasps survive. Giving them the shields was a good idea then. Oh, dude. GG. Two for two. 
Don't want to be a dick by saying two for two. I'm just saying that was pretty good. I think that'll end the video. Those were two pretty good rounds. I mean, they were they were long. They uh they showed off good strategy. So I think we can end it there. I hope you guys. Oh, dude, I'm above 1100 now. Nice. I'm getting up to 1600. 500 more to go. I just don't know if my sanity will keep up with me. That'd be cool if I could hit 1600 while keeping under 100,000 combat power, maybe. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys have any tips, trip, tips, tricks, or suggestions, let me know. I I love making these videos, so I'm glad you guys are enjoying them. It's a uh, it's a win-win for both parties involved. Have a good one, guys.